Okay, welcome to the second episode ever of Camper Cooking on this channel. Today I am going to be making a chicken casserole of sorts. Normally I like to make this meal with a green pepper, but I didn't have one. All I had was red. So for the first time I'm going to make this with a red pepper. I'm sure it'll still be edible. So I got the veggies all chopped up and ready to go and next I need to cube up the chicken and get that ready to fry in the pan first. So I plan to put the chicken through an egg wash and then roll it in this Italian style seasoned breadcrumbs. And I only actually have, let's see here, I'm going to say about one fourth of that left. So that is the reason. I brought out the Urban Garlic Breton crackers because there isn't enough so I'm just going to go ahead and crush up a bunch of these and just kind of mix the two. I'm sure it'll still taste fine. I have made this dish with just the seasoned crumbs and it was good. It actually makes the chicken slightly more crispy I guess and I've had it with just the Breton. Whoops. Just the Breton cracker crumbs. Here we go. Urban garlic. And this stuff is makes the chicken less crispy. But because there's only so much of the crumbs, I'm just going to mix them together and I think it should be fine. This stuff is gluten free. I'm not celiac or anything like that. I just, I buy whatever. It doesn't matter to me if it's gluten free or not. I don't have any issues with it. Some people say it doesn't taste the same, but... Sometimes I find it actually tastes better depending. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get these crushed up and mix the two together. So the chicken breasts are all cut up. Um, this was four boneless skinless chicken breasts and you can kind of cut them to whatever size you prefer. If you want to cube them you can cut them in strips. It's whatever to your preference. So next we're going to put it in an egg wash. Gonna dump the Italian crumbs and the urban garlic cracker crumbs in this bowl. So I've kind of got a little production line going here. I'm gonna put the chicken in the egg wash, then we're gonna roll it in the crumbs, and then we're gonna fry it in the pan.
Well, we've got the chicken all breaded and starting to fry, so when that's maybe halfway fried, I'll probably put in the onion and the pepper. And while this is frying, I'm going to add the pepper, the onion powder, and the garlic. The crumbs are very absorbent, so you might need to add some oil to this pan as you're cooking it. Add it the onion and the pepper. I'm going to continue frying this up until I know for sure the chicken is all cooked through. And then I'm going to get it prepped for the casserole dish and put it in the oven with some cheese. We've got the chicken all cooked through, the onion and the pepper uh, is cooked as well. So let's get this ready for the oven. So we're going to put this in a greased casserole dish. Okay, this ended up being a very full casserole dish um, of this stuff. So halfway through, I put some shredded cheese on, and I'm going to put some shredded cheese on the top as well. So we've got it all covered in cheese, and it's going to go in the oven. I have it at 400 right now. And the purpose really is just to melt that cheese down through the casserole. Um, I usually put green onion on the top as well, but once again, I don't have any green onion, so we're going to skip that this time around. But cover on and into the oven. While that's in the oven baking, I'm going to make some mashed cauliflower and fry some corn and jalapeno pepper in some butter. So just using frozen cauliflower, um, it keeps better. While the cauliflower is boiling, I'm just going to go ahead and fry up in some butter uh, the corn and jalapeno pepper. It cooks super fast, like it says, ready in three minutes. So I'll just cook that now and reheat it if I have to, if everything else gets done. Or I'm sorry, if this gets done before everything else, which is likely to happen. Cauliflower is done, so it's ready to be strained. Going to add some cream cheese to that. and some nutmeg. Frying the corn and jalapeno in the melted butter. And the cheese is melted, so the casserole is done. The chicken casserole is done, ready to be dished up. Mashed cauliflower and some fried corn and jalapeno. There we have it all dished out, but the last thing I have to do is just add a little bit of shaved parm on the mashed cauliflower and a little bit of sour cream. Alright, after all that hard work, I am ready to eat this delicious meal, but one more thing I almost forgot.
Cheers, everyone. What a mess. Damn.